TikTok only. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah. Uh, for the next few minutes, inshallah, I'm going to share with you my reflections on the renewal of the purpose of Ramadan. It's a very interesting topic in the way it's phrased. We can sit here. But well, it's it, we can sit and talk about you know kutiba alaykum al-siyam kama kutiba alayna qablikum how the people before us used to fast and how we are continuing the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but I'm not going to talk about that today we can talk about the beautiful things of Ramadan and how the the heavens are open and the shayateen are locked and the doors of hell are closed but the renewal of the purpose and so inshallah in the next 5 or 10 minutes we're going to go on this journey of why Ramadan? And in order for us to do that, we need to start backwards. Or sorry, we start at the end and work backwards. They alluded to that yesterday a little bit. But I want to take you a little bit further. So, think about Ramadan and how the first night of Ramadan, the masjid is completely full. You have all of these people coming Everyone has that excitement about Ramadan. <coughs> Everyone has that recharge. Their soul needs that, that re-energy, that, that battery. It's, it's on empty. And so Ramadan is that gives us that charge that we need. My question is, well, what about after Ramadan? The night of Eid, how many people are in the masjid? Very few. And what is Ramadan's goal for you? As a believer, is your goal to leave Ramadan as a person who worships Allah only in Ramadan? Or is your goal to be someone who worships Allah 12 months of the year? You know, if the Masajid, if we could hear the Masajid, the walls of the Masajid cry the night of Eid when the Masajid are empty, we would be all in the Masjid all the time. So I think the first step that we need to ask ourselves with renewing the purpose, is our goal is not to worship the Lord of Ramadan alone. It is to worship the, the Lord of all of the months. And I think that's the first thing that allows us to renew the purpose of Ramadan. Ramadan allows us to recharge that battery, and it's a boot camp. It's a tarbiya for us. It's to train us to be our best selves for the other 11 months. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided us with this ni'mah, this blessing of Ramadan. It's as if he knew that our iman needs that recharge. That it needs that energy to carry on the next 11 months or so. And so that's the first comment that I would want to make is our goal is to be worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day of the year, not just in the month of Ramadan. But it, most importantly, we must set our purpose. What is our objective? What do we want to achieve in this most blessed month? Because the reality is we may not make next Ramadan. We may not make this Ramadan. Allah billahna Ramadan awam and adida wa zinat madida. But the reality is we don't know. We don't know. And so by doing this, it will allow you to achieve realistic goals. So resetting the purpose, renewal the purpose of Ramadan. And so the concept of renewal, it's linked to growth and change. The process of taking a step back and reflecting on the year, on what you've done, and making the necessary changes and steps to be a better person, to rediscover that purpose and passion. What I mean by that is we do our salah, we do our siyam, but do we actually know why we're doing it? Or is it just we up and down and, and that's our salah? I, I prayed my prayer real quick and I, I go on to the next thing. Ramadan allows us to take that moment and rediscover ourselves to allow us to grow and to change. It allows for personal growth. It allows us to reevaluate what are my priorities as a believer. And it also allows me to set new goals as a Muslim. It freshens your perspective. It gives us a new start. How many of us want a new start? How many of us say, I wish I was able to reset the clock? And 
in Allah's mercy to us, He gives us Ramadan. He allows us to reset that clock every year. If you've made a mistake, if you feel like your, your shortcomings with Allah are great, Ramadan is that opportunity to renew your purpose as a Muslim. To renew your purpose not only internally as a Muslim, but your purpose as a community member and as a leader to, your, to the Muslim Ummah. The problem is the status quo, the regular routine, it, it leads us to frustration, it leads us to boredom, it leads us to apathy. And that's a problem. And so the beauty of Ramadan is it allows us to, to grow, to change our plan, to get a fresh perspective on what we want to be as Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this month every year because He knows our psychology. He created us. If you are eating the same food every day, you get sick of it. If you go to the same job every day, you get sick of it. Since I'm being recorded, I'm not going to be saying anything about the wives. <laughs> but that's, 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 a, that's a, we don't touch yeah, that. Said it already. Yes. <laughs> We finished already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can stop the recording. Stop the recording. No, no, no. Edit, edit, <laughs> Of course, I'm just joking with that. Uh, but that's that's our nature. Our nature is if we do something routinely, we tend to get bored, we get frustrated, we develop apathy, we develop a lack of care. Ramadan allows us to rejuvenate ourselves. As as people, we're haste. We want everything to be done. We don't. We're not patient. We like. We're very haste as people. That's how Allah, that's how we were created. But Ramadan trains us with holding our fast, by, by, by holding our food and our drink, by holding our tongue, by refraining from anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want us to do only for a short period of time. Ramadan is that madrasa, it's that training that allows us to be better individuals. And so, what does Ramadan do for us that allows us to refresh and regenerate? It gives us a new, new look. We said reset the clock. Number one, personal growth. So we're talking about renewing um, the purpose. So it allows for personal growth. It allows us to develop habits, to change and move forward. Let's say you have a bad habit, something that's not good. Ramadan is that month where you can kick that habit with dua, with prayer, with sabr, with mujahada. Allah SWT, if He knows your sincerity, you can kick that bad habit, inshaAllah. <coughs> So, you must identify the areas of improvement. And so, for example, you know, we know that the shayateen are locked up in the month of Ramadan. So, if you find yourself going back to a sin or an act, then you know it's yourself. You know that you need to work hard on yourself. We can't blame it on the shayateen. So, then you have to ask yourself, okay, I have this problem. How am I going to fix this problem? What am I going to do? And inshallah, we'll, we'll give you some steps here with that. So what steps can I take to remove it? You know, as a surgeon, we cut the tumor out. That's what we do. So in order for us to fix the problem, we need to dissect it, remove it, and fix the sol- and, and, and create a solution. And that's what we do. Ramadan allows you a clear headspace to do that. It provides you a safe space and the ability to think clearly. And Ramadan is annual. So what does that mean? That tells us that this renewal is something that has to be done often. It's not a one time, I'm good to go, alhamdulillah. No. Allah SWT knows in ourselves that we will have mistakes, we will fall, we have good days and bad days. But with Ramadan, it gives us that refresher. You know, the continuing medical education credits, CME classes. You have to do that every year to maintain your license. Ramadan is that for the believer. It allows you to refresh yourself. It gives us checkpoints along the way. It require, but at the same time, it requires effort, mujahada, sabr, and dedication. It also allows for us to feel better. It allows us for something to look forward to. Everything that we've been talking about the last few weeks, you know, ahlan Ramadan, Sheikh Zal always says, Shaykh always says, you know, Ahlan Ramadan, then Mahlan Ramadan. You know, and I'm sure he'll say it again this year. Last few days of Ramadan, Mahlan Ramadan. Ramadan comes and goes so quickly. So the question is, 
what are we going to do to make a better experience for Ramadan? So number one, the first thing that we need to do to renew our purpose is one, we need to recognize our faults and we need to change. And only then can you renew yourself. Number two is learn from the past. What worked, what didn't work, what you did, what you didn't do, and how did it make you feel as a person? And then number three is be merciful to yourself. Be compassionate with yourself. Because at the end of the day, you may have these grand goals and you fall very, very short. So it's very important that you're compassionate with yourself in this month of this spiritual awakening. And the change can be the catalyst for renewal. Ramadan allows us to find that purpose. So in order for us to do that, you need to reflect. Number two is you need to be positive. So have a positive mindset. Be optimistic that Allah SWT is going to let you curb this habit. Or Allah is going to allow you to make a khatma. Allah is going to allow you to come to Salat al-Fajr, to Salat al-Aisha. And set goals. It's very important to set goals that will allow you to stay on track. Because if you don't have a list of goals, you don't know. So I would say start your list of goals and then do a, a, a self-check to see, you know, how am I doing with my assessment of Ramadan for the month to be? Because it's very easy to have uh, Ramadan uh, guilt and Ramadan regret. And what that is, is you wake up, it's day one, you wake up, it's day 15. Maybe you caught a few salawat in the masjid. Maybe you, um, maybe you read a few pages of Qur'an. But you wake up and the month is practically gone. And this happens to all of us. So it's really important to set realistic goals. And in this month, do things you typically wouldn't do. And what I mean by that is, set, your, set up some goals for yourself, that inshallah you can be successful. And it can reignite your passion for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for your community. Because not only are you reigniting your passion for yourself and the purpose, but the purpose is to better yourself for your community and how you can give back to your ummah. But in order for you to do that, you have to work on yourself personally in the month of Ramadan. So, do something new. Something that outside of the box. But also do something that works. So if you know that waking up early is a difficulty for you, Maybe set your clock a little earlier. If you know that you have a hard time during the day, have your suhoor, do things that work for you. But at the same time, also have fun with it. Ramadan is not meant to be torture. So many people will talk about how, oh my God, I have to start fasting again. But for us, alhamdulillah, like Ramadan is rahmah. And non-Muslims always ask, oh my God, not even water? You can't even have water? But the reality is Ramadan is very easy, alhamdulillah, for the believer. And Allah gives us that rahmah because He knows it's difficult. Between jobs and works and school, it's not easy. But with Allah's infinite mercy, I mean, try fasting the days of Shawwal. How hard are they compared to the days of Ramadan? Right? It's completely different. So have fun with it. And the other thing is connecting yourself with your masjid, with your community. Connecting yourself with your brothers in such, organ, in, in such gatherings such as this. Um, iftars, uh, the masajid, the gatherings, the Qur'an circles. Be with other people who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will rub off on you and you will rub off on them in a great way. Because you're all passionate for the same goal. So most importantly, and I'm quick, I, I, I probably have a few minutes left. but Most importantly, I think one is... Realistic goals. So, the hadith that talks about Allah loves the, the action that's limited or small, but consistent. So if you tell yourself, I'm going to make a khatma every three days, that's, you don't have to do that. You know? Maybe a realistic goal is, I'm going to, inshallah, on the weekends, I'm going to spend a lot of time in the masjid at night. I'm going to spend between asr and maghrib in the masjid, just for dua. And inshallah, I'm going to pray Qiyam. And then my goal is this month, 30 days, I'm going to pray Fajr in the Masjid. That's a realistic goal. Maybe we pray Fajr in the Masjid once or twice a month, if that. 
maybe this is the realistic goal for the Shabbat, is how, can I get to the masjid every fajr? Um, that's something that I think you should be very, we should all be very passionate about because of all the rewards that come from the people who go to fajr. So that's one thing. So set realistic, consistent goals that will make you successful, inshallah. Number two, celebrate your successes. What I mean by that is, alhamdulillah, you went to Fajr today. Pat yourself on the back. Alhamdulillah, Allah bless me with the ability to go to Fajr. For Allah, He allowed me to read a page or five pages of Quran. He allowed me to fast. He, I didn't say a single curse word today. You know, I know, sorry, Abu Muzah, I don't mean it that way, but the reality is I'm maybe more towards the youth here. Um, maybe I didn't listen to any verse of music today. You know, maybe my Quran, you know, we all do, Ramadan starts, Shaykh Al-Ajami or Shaykh Al-Sadais or, you know, they're on, the, they're on the car, you know. So, set up yourself some realistic goals and then celebrate your successes with yourself and with your friends and your community. And then find inspiration. And what's our inspiration? What's Ramadan? Head, head. What's Ramadan all about? Head. Ramadan is all about the Quran. So you find your inspiration from your Quran. And so that was what allows you to stay motivated. But at the same time, if you feel like you're falling down, seek support from your brothers, your, your parents, your family, your friends, your colleagues, your imam. If you feel like, Shaykh, I'm just not doing well this Ramadan, what if I, I, need, I need some help. Come to the masjid, come to your brothers, come to the circles. This is what will ignite you to renew your purpose, to allow you to grow, and not just that, that will strengthen that, that, that light for the other 11 months. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gave us Ramadan to be better Muslims, to be better community leaders. And then He also gave us the book of Al-Quran, which allows us to be an inspiration to us and to all of mankind. He brought us, you know, Taraweeh, He brought us the community together so we can support each other. And uh, that's kind of my assessment of renewal of the purpose. Yeah. Um, a minute and a half, no sure. Left? Yeah, good. I didn't have a push up story. No push up story. No. It was an angel. No, we give him a chocolate. We don't have a chocolate. You're recording. Okay.